Compartieron esperanza. Es interesante esa palabra. Es lo que tú debes de hacer como ser humano. So the first thing that came to my mind when I heard Compartiendo Esperanza was really like a return to roots, being reminded of that and being reminded of who we are, because it can be easy to feel hopeless. It can be easy to feel like things are against me and this is not going to work and here are all the reasons it won't work. I was involved in a conversation recently where it was, it was Latinos talking about the term Latinx. I want to be able to identify myself because it seems more like you want to know what I am more than you want to know who I am. And, and that, that impacts our mental health. When it comes to like even some of your classmates, some of our students that we know personally, the reason why they don't reach out for help or they feel like they can't is because of fear. Because you had that idea, I could do it by myself. I don't need any help. Like it really took me to be at rock bottom and like I'm, I really don't have anyone to, I need help. How do you deal with being in that situation? Like you're being, you're the one that needs help. I don't deal with that. I, I rarely let people help me. Tú piensas que tú estás solo, pero no está. Tú estás en un planeta lleno de seres humanos. No one's going to replace dad. He's always going to be dad. She got many a life that love you. And your dad is proud of you. And reminding our young people who they are and who their parents and grandparents have been. It's about just making sure that that isn't lost on them. I've never met him, but I know that he loves you beyond anything, more than anything in this world, that he would give anything up to be here with you right now. Comparte esperanza. Y ese puede ser el estado de este mundo. Todo se puede cambiar con compartiendo esperanza. Porque tú tienes el poder con una palabra y a veces eso es todo lo que necesitas.